saw this incredible and and extremely rare once in a lifetime opportunity to 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 help people. You know, we saw an opportunity to help people live a better life, uh, a cigarette free life. That's how the owners of All Things Vape saw their business. First, when they opened their shop in Plainville and when they opened a second location in Newington. It's amazing when somebody comes in a smoker and they come back a couple weeks later and they're thanking you because they've been cigarette free for the first time in their lives. But in a Facebook video posted in the past few weeks, they say business has changed. There was a lot of misinformation being put out there. All things vape lost customers and had to close the Newington location. Health experts nationwide have been warning people about vaping after dozens of deaths and hundreds of cases of vaping related illnesses emerged. The CDC and FDA are investigating the link and say black market THC products are linked to many of the cases. All things vape says those aren't the products sold at its stores. Local governments are also trying to figure out what they can do to prevent the injuries, some states have already outlawed flavored vaping products. Governor Ned Lamont met with his counterparts in the region trying to tackle what's being called a public health crisis. Now we've convened um, all of our all of the states in the region. Our staffs are talking together, figuring out how we work together on all the key issues to make sure if we do this, uh, we do it right. Advocates for smoke-free alternatives say the bigger issue is that people who stopped smoking and turned to vaping are now back to cigarettes because of the state and federal health warnings. The more concerning issue is now we have thousands of smokers that have gone from vaping back to smoking. Uh, so that's the concern is half of those people are now set to lose their life to uh, smoking related illness. And as Jen mentioned, Juul announced it will stop selling its fruit flavored e-cigarettes, including mango, cream, fruit and cucumber. The move comes as a policy from the Trump administration looks to move out all flavored e-cigarettes from the market. I'm Amanda Rouse, Fox 61 News.